Welcome. My name is Ho Jan Kim from Kim Coaching Group. Today, I would like to talk about quitting versus letting go. When I think about quitting, the image that comes to my mind is failure and defeat. The notion that only the ones who can't endure the challenge will give up. This idea has been ingrained in me since childhood. Once I set a goal, I should never give up. I was told that success belongs not to the best one, but the one who never give up. When I started to manage a team, I continued to my technical work and I was proud that I could perform both roles at the same time. I can be very technical and hands-on in solving the complex problems while I also lead my team for success. But over time, it becomes a little bit too much. I found myself sacrificing too much of my time for myself and my family for the work. And my manager suggested, maybe it's a time for you to let go of your technical work. But I resisted. I was scared. This sounds like failure. And can I really be successful as a people manager only? I wasn't sure. The truth is, to excel in something new, you need to let go of something old. Like if you want to pour more tea into a cup, you first need to empty that cup. Our capacity is finite, just like the size of the cup. A former colleague of mine once told me that if I want to advance in my career, I have to teach everything I know to others. If, if I hold my skills to secure a job, I will not progress. Instead, teach everything you know to others and learn the skills for the next level. That was shocking because I really thought that I need to be unique. I need to have some unique skills that nobody else has in the company to be indispensable. Meaning I should not share my secret skills. And letting go of the technical work is kind of like that. I teach everything I know to my team members and I need to empty it to learn a new skill for the next level, which was more people manager. The key difference is between quitting and letting go. Quitting is running away from something challenging because it's too scary or difficult. On the other hand, letting go is a strategic choice to empty your capacity to embrace something new. It's a deliberate and intentional decision for your growth. So the question is, what will you let go of and what will you add in its place? And this is an example of something that we are going to discuss during Women Leaders Community. What do you need to create space for something you truly want? And how can you do it without guilt and shame? If you want to learn more, check out the Women Leaders Community. Thank you.